welcome to Essentials Explained. My name is Luke, and in this video, we will be walking through a Excel test for a job interview. We will walk through the basic questions and what you need to know to pass the test. Our task for this interview is to add necessary information to our master employee list on the left. We want to map in our office, our benefits, and ultimately understand the implications on total salary and benefits for each office. Our first question is to add the office of each employee to the master employee list. What we have is a column here where we'll need to map in each office for each employee based on their employee number. This is an example where we need to utilize an index match as a VLOOKUP only works when the employee number or your lookup value is in the far left of your lookup table. So if I write index, I have the array of what I want, which is my office. I'll use F4 to lock that in place and I'll use a match to identify my row number. My match will be my lookup value, which is my employee number, and my lookup array will be the employee number in my lookup table. F4 to lock that in place, zero for an exact match. And if I fill this down, I have the office for each of my employees. Question number two, add the associated benefits of each employee. If we wanna add the benefits, we could use an index match or we could also use a sum ifs. So equals sum ifs, our sum range will be the benefits locked in place, our criteria range will be the employee number locked in place, and then our criteria will be the employee number in our master employee list. I can fill that down and I have the benefits for each of my employees. If you're using a sum ifs here, make sure you double check that your employee list doesn't have duplicates. So paste it in below, alt a m duplicates, and it will tell you no duplicate values found. Question three, calculate the total salary and benefits for each employee. Very simple, we can use the sum of benefits and salary and fill that down. Question number four, build a table to understand total expense by office. Please break out salary and benefits separately to understand their magnitude. Easiest way to do this will be with a pivot table. Alt NVT will let you add a pivot table. I'm gonna put this on my existing worksheet so it is easy for me to work with. The first thing I wanna do is drag my office into my rows, and now I wanna drag my salary into my values, my benefits into my values, and the number of employees into my values. I can make this formatting slightly easier to read. Now what I wanna understand is spend per employee. So what I can do is just very easily calculate off my pivot table and say sum of salary, divided by employee, use F4 to lock that in column E, and then I can drag that over and down and easily calculate the spend on benefits and salary per employee. If your formula is returning get pivot data, that's because you need to go up here to file, options, formulas, use get pivot data functions for pivot table references and turn this off. I have found it easier to reference cells directly and to not use the get pivot data formula. If I bring this down, I can really easily see what the spend is per employee. Seems relatively consistent across the board. New York is a little bit cheaper, surprisingly, and definitely spending a lot less on benefits. One other thing we might wanna look at here is percent of spend. It would be interesting to understand out of the total salary and benefits bucket, what percent is being spent on salary compared to benefits. So if I use equals salary divided by the sum of salary and benefits, F4 to lock that in column C and column D, but leave the row flexible, I can change this to a percentage and copy and paste for all of my different offices. So what can I see? I noticed that New York is spending significantly more on their salary compared to the benefits. Question number five, build a table to understand the performance by office. Do offices with a higher spend typically have higher performance? So we could easily add a new pivot table or we could simply copy this pivot table, which I found to be the faster approach and then update this table to reflect what we want. What I will do is remove the sum of salary. So I'll simply drag my rating into my columns I'll fix that formatting. And now what I can see is really quickly, 
the number of employees that are scored at a specific rate. So Chicago has five A's, Los Angeles has two, Miami has four, New York has five A's. What would be helpful to understand here is the percentage of the employees that received a specific rating. I'll go up here to this design tab and turn off grand totals. And I can simply drag down a header for percent of employees. I will have a bucket for my A's, for my B's, and my C's. And I can use equals divided by the sum of the total, locked in its columns, flexible in its rows, change that to a percentage, and then fill right, fill down. And we can really easily see the performance across the different offices. Chicago is performing very well with only one B, no C's. Los Angeles is really the laggard with one B, one C, and only 50% of their employees as A's, which isn't necessarily reflected in the overall spend.